Hi YouTube, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond coming at you with morning chit chat. How you guys doing? Sorry the sun is so bright in the back back there. Can you see me? Can you see me now? <laughs> you guys, I have just been so touched, just emotionally touched this morning. And I hope with doing this um video i'm driving you guys on my way to church I'm gonna be late <laughs> i ain't had no breakfast and i'm hungry <laughs> oh i know you guys it is bad you know it is it's saturday morning you know and after you work all week you just feel like being lazy but anyway i'm up i'm going that's what counts i'm gonna get some word in me that's gonna encourage me throughout Okay, but back to what I was talking about. I was just so, and I just hope I don't get teary eyed up here. But this morning, emotionally, just emotionally, I don't know, it wasn't a sad cry, but it was a happy cry, a joyful cry. It's almost as if there was a releasing, like a you know, it's like God just keeps confirming to me that this is what I got for you to do. This is what I want you to do. You know, he just let me know that you are you are an encourager. You are my mouthpiece to my people. You know, there's so many people who need encouragement. You just never know. If you feel led to say something and say it, whether it's here on camera or just personally, if you feel led to talk to someone most definitely do it because you know most of the time it's the spirit of the lord that is giving you what to say you know because like last sunday you know i was in church and you know i was just to the point of like god you know i have been going through i am tired you know is this is this journey worth it is the struggle that i'm going through worth it you know Sometimes you just want to give up and you want to quit. And then my pastor wife, she stood up and she testified and she said how I had encouraged her. And how I had said something to her. And I don't even remember, you know, I kind of remember our conversation when we talk all the time. But it was as if she said this to me and it let me know I got to go. I got to keep pressing forward. And I was like, what? You know, and... I'm like, God, so, you know, I'm feeling like being tired, just saying give up. You know, when I fall, don't pick myself back up. Just lay there and wallow in it. And it is a lot of yard sale signs out. No, I'm not stopping in, Dresa. I'm keeping on. <laughs> I know that's you and your family's thing, too. I love the yard sale, too. But anyway, back to my conversation. I'm sorry. I don't want to make this long. Yeah, I know some of y'all are saying that too. <laughs> but, you know, and it just encouraged me when she said that. And then yesterday, I had already did my morning chit-chat. And then God just dropped it into my spirit to talk about faith and hanging in there and trusting in Him. And the responses I got was just so wonderful. Just to know that I said something that touched someone's life. You know, you just never know whose life you're going to touch. I'm, I'm telling you, I was blessed by y'all's comments back to me concerning that video. I, I was just touched. I was just, I'm telling you, I was emotionally touched. And as I was in the bathroom, I got up out of my bed. Now, as I sat there, I was scrolling through the phone before I get up, looking at the messages and the responses back. And then when I got in the bathroom, I just broke down. I just had me a cry to God because... I just had to thank him for confirming things to me because sometimes you know this journey gets hard I don't know if you guys know that y'all think y'all go through but a minister of the gospel goes through I'm telling you guys we go through but then as I'm sitting there I'm thinking how can I witness to them that it's gonna be okay if I've never been through anything if I, I never go through anything how can I tell somebody it's gonna be okay I don't know I just say do you think someone who never suffers, who have never been through anything, can come up to me and say, oh, girl, it's going to be all right. Don't worry about it. 
Mm-mm. You have got to have been through it. You have had to have got to have had those battle scars. You, you know, you have had to been through it through thick and thin. And it might not be the same as that thing that I went through, but you have had to have been through something and God have taken you through it. You know, before you can even witness to someone because you don't know their struggle. You don't even know a struggle, you know. So I just thank God for my struggle, each and every struggle, each and every struggle. I thank him for that, you know. Just to be able to encourage and uplift someone else to let y'all know you can do it, you know. God brought me through a lot. He's still bringing me through a lot. And you can do it. And it was just... telling you guys I am so touched this morning you know I said God you have kept me here for a reason and a purpose and once you realize your purpose and your reason how can you not fulfill it how can you not live in your purpose and you know it's just a blessing to know that my life, my talk, little old me, you know, and I always come on and say, what I say is, it's me, one, two, three, you know, I am somebody, and I'm somebody in the Lord, I am somebody, you know, um, I have a purpose, I have a reason, and I just, it's just, it's like a realization, it's like yokes have been broken, you know, and it's not just for one video because y'all gave me some good compliments. It's not just that. It just let me know that this is my life. You know, it's my life. Yes, I do everything. Yes, I'm a mom. I'm a couponer. I'm a nurse. But my life is the ministry of help. It is. It really is. To encourage, to uplift, to motivate. You know, and for so long... I knew this, but I did not feel worthy. I did not, you know, I almost felt like, um, God, it just had a brain fart. I'm sorry. Ugh. And he's right there. I'm sorry. I can't even think of my examples, but, um, John the Baptist, I'm sorry. When he told Jesus he did not feel worthy to, to unlatch his shoes, you know, I just did not feel worthy of this calling, you know, I felt worthless, useless, you know, and for the longest time, that's how I felt, you know, all my life, you know, like, what is the point, what is the use, why was I born on this earth, but the things that I go through, it has made me a stronger person, and it has made me able to encourage people, and I'm proud of that this morning, I'm proud of my battle scars, I'm proud of every last one of them every hurtful word that someone has said to me in my lifetime every time they say you cannot do it you know and it just reminded me of when I was going through nursing school you know and I was going to get help to folk rehab and the uh, assessor and I wish I could find that man now I really do but I lost that paperwork I wish I really could find that therapist right now to this day I wish I could find him because, you know, he told them that it was okay for me to go through LPN school, which that's licensed practical nurse, because that's where I was starting out at, but he did not recommend that I go any further. I would not be able, <laughs> I would not be able to perform a job as a registered nurse based on his assessment of me. Now, if I, being in that low state, I mean, I was in a low self-esteem state at that point. If I had to listen to that man, you know, and there's nothing wrong with being an LPN. I made good money. It helped me establish what my kids could have, you know. So, I'm not putting down LPNs. I'm proud of my step. I started out as working as a cashier at Hardy's to, or even lower, working at the, no, we shouldn't say even lower. I'm sorry. God forgive me because any job is a blessing. But I meant as summers, 
I used to do work at the crab factory, cracking claws and picking the meat out of the crab claws and packing them and we, they sold. You know, I started doing that and then I started doing cashier work and working in the pizza place and, you know, and I worked my way up and started doing CNA work and then I got my LPM, my licensed practical nurse, and he told me that's as far as I could go. And lo and behold, I worked as an LPN for a year, and I was determined, you know, and I thank God for putting people in my life, because I had a girlfriend he put in my life, and long story short, I was trying to get away from her, I'm like, I'm just going to focus, I just want to focus, I don't want to make any friends, and she was on the other end saying, that's her right there, I'm going to latch on to her, she's going to be my friend, she's going to be my study partner, we're going to do this thing together, and I'm on the other end trying to get away from people. But God placed us in the right place. And she was an encouraging and a motivator. She said, Stokey, we are going to we are going to get our RN so that we ain't got to have no um, RN signing behind us. We can do this. She said, you're a good nurse. You know, you don't have to do this. You know, and I thank God because I have excelled in registry nurse. I did it. I went through it. <laughs> I passed my state boards. I worked as I've been working as an RN for what am it's going on 18 years now in the nursing field. 18 years I've been working in it. So <laughs> don't let what somebody tell you that you can't do it or you'll never be able to do it. They don't know the plan that God has for your life, you know. He didn't know what God had for my life, okay? Maybe I did terrible on your little test. <laughs> But I thank God, you know, he saw me through it. And I've been a registered nurse, and I thank God with no errors, haven't killed anybody that I know of. <laughs> just joking, just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I've been performing as a registered nurse, a top performing registered nurse, not bragging on myself, but just, you know, if we don't esteem ourselves highly, no one else will, you know. But I'm not esteeming it higher than God. But. You know, I have always been in leadership positions as the RN and whatever job I was in, I started out working floor nurse and instantly I found favor with God and people's eyesight and I always wound up in management positions as this RN and even when I went to the hospital and started working on this floor nurse, immediately I started becoming charge nurse because that's the ability and the capability that God has gave me to touch people and to touch their lives and be a blessing and they bless me and I've always been like that and even in my position now God has blessed me because you know just he's just blessed me it was a good position the position he took me to is even better than the one that I've got you know so I thank God you know I don't know what God got in my life what he's got planned for me but I'm in for the ride I don't know about you guys if wherever God's driving I'm riding you know so you guys y'all stay encouraged know that y'all have touched me this morning y'all have blessed it's me the one true diamond <laughs> thank you for letting me in thank you for not doing like i told my sisters locking the door letting the little grandbaby out it's me grandma it's me the bug i was like no letter in <laughs> thank you for letting me in your lives you know thank you thank you thank you appreciate it love you Love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. To all of you who stuck around for 13 minutes and 23 seconds, I love you with the love of God, okay? You guys have a blessed day. Bye.